Hi, I'm Bailey J. I feel like I've only recently became queer in a weird way because I'm just uh, more socially aware and um, more aware of, I guess, the fluidity of sexuality and gender and all that stuff. I mean, it's really, it's, it's not new for me, but there are aspects of it that are very new for me. And so, um, I guess in a weird way being queer is just me being conscientious of all the different uh, types of people there are in the world. It's not just cis or male, female, trans, like there's just, there's so many different layers and textures and colors. And, um, so I'm just now realizing exactly how queer I am. <laughs> I'm queer. I, I like guys across the board typically, like trans, cis, I, just, I, I like, uh, I feed off male energy typically. Um, but when I meet cool girls, um, trans, cis, or otherwise, uh, I, I, it's weird. I'm just more into people in general now. It's, it's really morphed. Like I said, it's morphed for me. Yeah, I, I feel that I do bring politics to, uh, to, to what I do for a living. I, recently I do because I, um, I kind of feel like I can't, I can't help but, but be political because of, of who I am. Um, because I'm a transgender woman, my naked body uh, kind of opens up a conversation whether or not I want to. <laughs> so I've kind of been forced to be political for better or worse and I'm grateful for it now because uh, my platform is, is able to legitimize a lot of stuff for people who might be uh, doubting mm -hmm. uh, the like validity of what they're feeling. Mm -hmm. What would you want other trans women to take away from your porn performances? Um, an orgasm would be nice. I, I would like, hmm, I hope that uh, trans women that watch my porn could take away, um, maybe not feeling like they have to hide how trans they are. I feel like that's something that we all face. Uh, we kind of feel like we're trying to be women or something as opposed to just being what we are, what, you know, wherever that falls on the spectrum. Um, so kind of just being out there and having my penis out there and having my breasts out there, um, I, I, I feel like, I don't know, you kind of can't be ashamed. Like, it's, it's nothing to feel bad about. It's not, it's being trans isn't a dirty word. And um, so, so yeah, I, I hope they could take self-confidence uh, away from that. All people could take away some self-confidence from just being completely naked. I, won't say, I, I am so simple, it's like ridiculous. I, I like sucking dick. I love it. Like, sucking cock is the best thing ever. Um, oral sex, and I like giving oral sex um, more than getting it. I'm a, I'm a people pleaser <laughs> like that. So, yeah, as long as I have a cock in my mouth, I'm usually uh, good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, think, I think authenticity in, in the porn I do is incredibly important, and it used to not be. I mean, porn was very much a job for me in the beginning. Um, it, it kind of felt like, oh, I'm a trans woman, people want to see me naked, like this is, this just comes to the territory, I'm just going to do this. And it's just kind of going through the motions. And I think it's really apparent to anybody with a, a brain in their head <laughs> that there's a real difference in the porn I've done in the last couple of years versus the porn I started out doing. Not to knock it, it's, it's wonderful content and everybody who worked on it was amazing, but my mental shift has, has really, uh, my porn is a lot more authentic now in the last couple of years. And on my website, um, the stuff I've done, POV stuff I've done, um, the stuff I shot today even, like just, it's, it's all, um, I think it's really important because it's, it's being honest. I don't want to be a porn actor anymore. I want to um, experience uh, my sexuality in front of an audience and then hopefully encourage other people to, to do that in a safe and responsible way, in a fun way. <laughs>